Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Verilog project on the vending machine. Vending machine, it is an automated machine used for selling the products when the coin is inserted. In this project, we are going to use 5 rupee, 10 rupee, 20 rupee and 50 rupee coin. And we are going to sell the product of 10 rupee and 20 rupee. The product can be anything like chips or milk or any drinks. Let's move further to the finite state machine model. So this is the FSM for the vending machine. S0 is the default state in which we are having S5, S10, S20 and S50 as the next state. And also the states also represent the rupee which we are going to use in this project. And as said earlier, 10 rupee and the 20 rupee product we are going to sell through vending machine. So if we insert 5 rupee coin into the vending machine, it won't give any product. So if we add another 5 rupee, it will give a product of 10. If we add 10 rupee, it will give 10 rupee product and it will return back the 5 rupee. And if we add 20 rupee, it will give the product of 10 and 20, but it will return the money for 15 and 5. And if we add 50 rupee, it will return back 45 for the 10 rupee product and return 35 for the 20 rupee product. And for the S10, if we give uh, 10 rupee into the vending machine, it will give the 10 rupee product or if we insert again the 10 rupee, it will give the 20 rupee product and for the 20 rupee, it will give the 20 rupee product and for the 50 rupee, it will give the 10 rupee product and return back the 40 and for 20 rupee product, it will give back the written as 30. So now moving on to the further with the Verilog code. So this is the Vivadu 2023.1 version. Here we can start a fresh new project or else if you have any other project you can go here. You click here. Create project. Go next. Type the name as pending machine we are doing it in Verilog so Verilog and the next next you can choose the language here the next 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 and finish After that, go to here, next, create file, give file name as winning machine, Here, if you want, you can add the input here itself, or otherwise, you can directly write into the main page. Okay, so here we are going to write the very lucky first as usual we will define the module name followed by output and input here the output we are declaring as the new product and the input as clock reset and coin that is the three bit value which represents the state s0 s5 s10 s20 and s50 here the states are exceeding the pi so we can't take 2 bit, we have to take 3 bit. And here the other inputs are red 5, red 10, red 20, which represents the written value which we are going to get after inserting the coins into the vending machine. This declares the current state, this declares the next state, and followed by the parameters of those states as S0, S5, S10, S20, S50. This binary value represents that respective state, and here 
again uh, 5 10 20 50 rupees we are going to insert into the vending machine to get the product of 10 and 20 for the positive here for the positive edge of the clock if the reset pin is high the state will go to the s0 that is the default state or else the current state will move on to the next state and this line means if the output is oh sorry the output is changing with respect to the input of state and the coin so we are taking the case statement of state the first state is s0 that is the default state in which we are not going to add any other um, coins in it in the vending machine so no matter what Whatever the coin you will mention here, it won't give us any product. For the state as pi, that is, if we are inserting the pi rupee coin in it, it will not give us the product. But if we insert in the pi rupee coin again here, it will give the product of 10 rupee and it won't return any value. Or else, if we insert into the 10 rupee in it, it will return back the pi and give us the product. For the coin 20 inserted, it will give the product and return back the 5. And for the uh, 20 rupee product, it will return back the 15 rupees as 5 and 10 rupee. And for the coin uh, 50 rupee inserted in it, it will return back the 45 rupees to get the 10 rupee product. And uh, to get the 20 rupee product, it will return back the 55 rupee product for the state s10 that is if the 10 rupee is inserted into the vending machine it will give the product of 10 rupee or else if we again add the 10 rupee in it it will give the 20 rupee product and for the s10 that denotes the if 20 rupee is inserted into it it will give the product of 20 rupee and for the s10 which denotes if 50 rupee is inserted into the vending machine it will give the product of 10 by returning the 40 rupee and to get the 50 rupee oh sorry to get the 20 rupee product it will return back the 50 rupee to us again and it will give the product here this uh, represents that the output is changing only for the 10 rupee and the 20 rupee since we are going to uh, like activate pins for S10 and S20 since we want the product for rupee 10 and rupee 50. So this was the Verilog code for the vending machine and the main advantage of using Vivido is that we don't need to write test bench as we wrote for the other videos which have did like for the half adder full adder or for the subtractors and that we have to write the test bench main advantage in this is we don't need to write any test switch now we will run the simulation here run behavioral simulation save it here the green means there is no error in your code and this rewardo is more than the EDA playground So this is the pins which we have declared in our code and this is the waveform which we got for the vending machine. So I hope you all understood the vending machine project using the Verilog code. Thank you guys.